What a beautiful morning. I love turkey hunting, and the beautiful weather we typically enjoy here in Texas for early spring turkey season plays a big part in that. This was my second weekend turkey hunting. Opening weekend didn't produce a turkey despite some close calls, but now, armed with a better understanding where the turkeys were roosting from the previous hunts, I was feeling very optimistic. Sitting on the ground against a post oak tree among some lush green grasses, I settled in before first light. The turkey started gobbling as the first few rays of light kissed the horizon. I could hear at least four different gobblers in the area. The Avian X turkey decoys were set up and ready to go. The only thing I could ask for was a gentle breeze to bring these decoys to life. They're gobbling. Let's see if I can get them to come in. Got the trusty uh, Remington 870 today. I'll put a stomp on them. These two Jakes were the first to come and check out the decoys. They were on a mission, and as a joint strike force, they were feeling pretty tough. As they puffed up and postured, dancing around the Avian X decoy, their courage grew. They started with a nudge, wary of the counter strike a mature Tom would deliver. The counter blow never came, and their vigor grew as they boldly started ganging up on my poor decoy. I would have been concerned except for the fact that these guys didn't have any spurs. They took turns establishing their dominance over these decoys, and despite being entertaining for a while, their presence was deterring other gobblers from coming in, and that needed to come to an end. Now turkeys have keen eyesight, but these guys were so focused, or just too dumb, that I had to wave and throw sticks at them to get them to leave. I just about had to stand up from my seat before they finally moved on. Those guys walked behind me less than 10 yards away. They're not too smart. Yet. I heard a tom gobble earlier while the jakes were still terrorizing my decoys. With a few calling sequences, this guy answered back and was coming in to take a look. Once he spotted the Avian X decoys, he was determined and came in fast making a beeline for the jake decoy. Now this is the quandary of the self-filmed hunter. Get the camera shot, or get the shot on the bird? It's clear to me, the heck with the camera, get the bird. Now luckily, I had my 2018 shot cam mounted on the end of the barrel, and it was on and recording. I knew this guy would be equipped with some serious hardware and I wasn't going to give him the chance to exercise it on my decoy. So I lined him up and took the shot. I hit him hard, knocking his beak clear off and sending him crashing down to the dirt. My Remington 870 isn't as fancy as my Benelli, but it sure is one serious turkey stomping machine. Miraculously, I didn't hit my decoy. Got him. Let's go check him out. Guy's got some claws on him. This guy had one and an eighth inch spurs. Multiple beards. and 11 inch beard. How blessed are we 
they get to hunt these magnificent birds and live in this wonderful country and state. I'm Jesse with Strix Outdoors. If you like these videos, I invite you to hit the subscribe button and alert bell to see more hunting and gear review videos in the future. Until next time, thanks for watching.